Hi everyone, welcome out to a book reading. Today I'm going to read to y'all and I have three books that I'm going to read to you, the viewers at home. And these are from Vision Street Publishing. I wanted to thank them so, so much for allowing me and setting my permission to read these books to y'all on YouTube. Facebook and Daily Motion to share the stories with others. So thank you, Vision Street Publishing, for allowing me to do this. And don't worry, I'm not going to copy it like, you know, down on a piece of paper. I'm just going to read it as y'all wrote it. So I just wanted to make that clear. I'm not going to copy it, none at all. I'm just here for reading and and also seeing what it's about. The three books that I'm going to be reading on each part is called Am I Sick? The other book is called Stay Clean, and the other book is called Taking Care of Yourself. These are the books that I'm going to be reading to y'all exactly in this order. I bought these a long time ago, long at, when I bought these down at Dollar Tree. They were in bag for a dollar twenty-five a piece, so I had to get these because these are really, really good to have, you know, for everyday life. And I want to thank you once again, Vision Street Publishing, for creating these books, and I am so happy to have them in my book collection and I can't wait to read read these straight to y'all and I hope that y'all enjoy, will enjoy them the first book is called Am I Sick? it's Fever, Doctor Visit, Medicine Cabinet and more and it's Keep Safe and here's what it looks like. Here's the front. And here's the side. And here's the back. And I'll bring it up closer so y'all can see it. Today is Sunday, and Daniel and Martha usually go to the park with Dad. Mom, who is a doctor, work in the clinic today. Dad is reading the newspaper in the living room when Daniel comes in complaining. Daniel, what's wrong with you? You don't look like you feel well, asked Dad. I don't want to go to the park, Dad. I am cold, and I am tired. Plus, my throat hurts when I swallow, Daniel explained. Don't worry, Daniel. Come on the couch and rest, Dad just yes. 
I think that was very sweet of the dad for letting him let him get on the couch to rest because he's not feeling so well. That's a now that's a good dad right there. Daniel, I'm going to take your temperature. That way we will see if you have a fever as well, explained Dad. Dad takes Daniel's temperature with the thermometer and discovers that he has a high fever. Oh, that's not good. Daniel, we're going to see Mom at the clinic and ask one of the doctors to see you because you have a high fever, said Dad. I don't feel up to going to the clinic. I'm very tired, said Daniel. Don't worry, we'll get on a spaceship. I have park in the garden. Dad tried to cheer him up. I think that was kind of sweet that he's trying to cheer him up, even though Daniel is not feeling so well. I give this dad a award. He's a really good dad to his son. Give him a award. For being the best dad ever. How are you doing on the spaceship, Daniel? Martha asked. Who's going with her dad and brother to the clinic? Well, it's going very fast, Daniel joked. Will we see the doctor soon? Martha asked. No, we will have to wait a little while. I think Daniel is not the only child who has a fever, explained Dad. And Martha is Daniel's sister. I just wanted to let y'all know that. And plus, and plus, this is kind of like, they're, they're wearing masks. It's like, almost like it's predicting COVID too. Because that's usually what you, what y'all yeah. wear around the, um, wearing the mask for COVID or or if you're around someone that's sick that would be kind of good to, to keep your mouth covered so you won't get sick while you're with around the same room with that person that's sick so that's a good smart move for them to wear a mask Daniel isn't feeling well so dad took him to the clinic Martha, Daniel, and their dad wait in the waiting room for his appointment. Daniel's name is called and he is brought back to the examination room. Daniel's doctor asks Daniel, What is bothering you today? Daniel says, I am very tired. My head hurts. And I have been coughing so much my throat hurts too. The doctor is Sam and Daniel. Martha, Daniel's sister, is concerned and asks the doctor, Is it serious? Will Daniel be alright? The doctor said, Daniel, you need to rest, drink plenty of water, and take the cough syrup medicine that I will prescribe and your dad will go pick up at the pharmacy. The doctor tells Martha, It is a virus. Daniel needs to rest for a few days. But we must all protect ourselves too. Please wear a mask as well to avoid spreading the virus or COVID. You never know. Don't drink or eat after Daniel or use his towel. Make sure you clean and disinfect his room and bed. That's one thing. I, that's what I don't do. I don't drink after people. Because I don't want to get sick, you know? So I prefer to drink my own stuff and don't want to be drinking after other people. That doesn't sit well with me. It makes me all icky when, if I have to do that. No, thank you. When they get home, Daniel goes to bed and Martha decides to keep him company and take care of him. He is already resting. Whatever I tell him about my friends, he falls asleep. Martha explained to her friend, I think he finds them boring. No, I don't think he finds them boring. 
per se, Martha. I think he's more just tired because he's not feeling so well. That's why he needs his rest. So I don't think he finds your friends boring. At all. Antonio Tits, what is a fever? When a germ enters the body, the body defense's immune system reacts. Fever is a sign of those reactions. It is not a disease in itself. An oral temperature greater than 99.5 Fahrenheit means that you have a fever. What causes a fever? Different infection can cause a fever. To find the cause of the fever, the doctor will look for other signs or symptoms of an illness in addition to the fever. Knowing you have a high fever does not help your doctor find out if it is a mild or a cut infection, or if the infection is viral or bacterial. Fever can be caused by many different illnesses. A slight increase in body temperature can occur when you are physically active, when you are very warm after a hot bath or shower or when it's hot outside. Rarely, heat stroke or exposure to certain medication can cause a serious and potentially dangerous rise in body temperature. Some non-infectious and other chronic illness may also cause recurrent or persistent fevers. For the one about the slight increase in body temperature can occur when you are physically active, when you are very warm or after a hot bath or shower or when it's hot outside, that is something new to me because I didn't know that. I think that's kind of good to know type of situation. I really like these pictures, to be honest. I think I think Vision Street Publishing did a really, really good job creating the the pages in this book. It's it's so clean, and I love the family. So thumbs up to y'all, Vision uh, Street Publishing. Y'all did a good job so far on this book. Isabel Tips. How to act when you have a fever. A fever makes us feel discomfort. These symptoms are mild and the child may be slightly irritable or have some pain. Some children become less active and more sleepy. Most cases of fever are caused by viruses lasting two or three days. Tips. Dress in light clothing. Most of the body heat is removed through the skin, therefore if we bundle up too much, we can increase our body temperature. That's another thing that I didn't even know. That's kind of cool to have that in mind. Generally, fever is a sign that the body is fighting an infection. Medicines. Some medication can help lower the fever. The doctor or pharmacist will decide the most appropriate formula and concentration for the patient. The proper dose is based on body weight as a general rule. The estimate doses are indicated on the medicine label. Additional liquids. Fever will cause the body to lose fluid. Therefore, it is necessary to drink water and keep the body hydrated. Now I understand why a lot of people are saying hydrate when they do their stream. Now I understand why. So you keep uh, your body cool instead of raising your temperature on your body. Now, now I understand. Avoid spreading the virus. It is very important to clean and sanitize the room very well and use an original towel. To avoid the spread of the virus, it is recommended to use a mask and it's essential to wash your hands well frequently. And that's a good thing to know. But a lot of people need to, needs to know that one. And the rest of these pages, I'm just going to show you them because they're, um, they're just pictures. 
so there, it ain't nothing like a story or anything, so I hope that'd be okay with y'all. And the end for Am I Sick? And the back of it says, What is a fever and why does Daniel have it? A visit to the doctor clinic will answer all the questions children have about fevers. This book is called Stay Clean, Keeping Good Hygiene and More keep safe and here's what it looks like here's the front here's the side and here's the back Martha and Daniel return from camp. They have had a great time. Their parents wait eagerly for them as they walk off the bus. Mom, Dad, we're over here, Martha exclaimed as Daniel and her exit the bus. Hello, Martha and Daniel. We are so excited for you to be home. Did you have a great time at camp? Isabel asked, eager to hear all about their summer camp. It was a great time, but we are ready to be home. I think I might have caught a cold, Daniel said as he sneezes. Oh no, let's get you home and clean up, and I will see if we need to take you to the doctor, said Isabel. I always felt sorry for Daniel. He always had to get kind of sick and everything. Poor guy. Martha has not remembered a single day of brushing her teeth or showering during the camp. She is a mess and dirty and her backpack seemed to have a life of his own. Martha, you need an immediate shower. Your hair and skin are dirty. Look at yourself in a mirror, explained Mom. Hygiene is essential for good health since it reduces the risk of myriad diseases. You have to clean yourself daily to feel better, smell better, and feel healthy, Martha, Dad explained. When Daniel comes out of the shower, you go in and clean up, Mom encouraged her. Done, Martha exclaimed, ready to wash herself like never before. Martha has spent a long time in the bathroom and now she is going to go to the dining room and surprises her family. She has showered, carefully washed her hair, brushed her teeth and cut her nails. Her hair has been combed and tied back with a beautiful yellow headband. And then she put on a few drops of fresh perfume to smell good. Where's the Martha who got off the bus? How good are Martha smell now? Dad exclaimed. How beautiful you are, said Daniel, showing his sister a mirror. Oh, that's a very sweet um, compliment there, Daniel. And I have checked Daniel out and he doesn't have a cold, just allergies, 
The main role of the nose is to absorb the air from the atmosphere and process it. The small hairs inside it act as a filter, and sometimes allergens in the air cause us to sneeze, exclaimed Mom. I feel better, Daniel exclaimed. Good job, Daniel, keeping your germs to yourself, Dad exclaimed. You use a tissue to wipe your nose and have sneezed into your elbow. What a beautiful family. They're so supportive of one another. Before going to bed, Martha and Daniel go to brush their teeth. It is the first time that Mom and Dad have not had to remind Martha. Great job, Martha and Daniel, exclaimed their parents very happy. Now off to bed. Your bed is waiting for you. We clean linen after so many days away from home. Tomorrow is Saturday, so you don't have to go to school. You can sleep in, exclaimed Mom. That's kind of cute how Martha is giving, uh, giving like two thumbs up. Like two, two, um, while she's brushing her teeth. It's so, so sweet. Like she was doing this. It is seven in the morning and Rhonda's family wake up from a noise coming from the bathroom. Dad, Mom, and Daniel get up to find out what's going on. Mom, Dad, it's Martha. She is taking a shower, Daniel explained very sleepily. But Martha, what are you doing up so early and in the shower, Mom and Dad asked. I'm going back to bed, Daniel said as he yawned. I want to be very clean and pretty for breakfast and then surprise everyone again, Martha explained. Martha, you will never see to amaze us, Dad and Mom said laughingly. Isabel's Tips, 5 Daily Grooming Habits Number 1. Keep your hair clean. Hair get dirty easily because of dust in the air and oil form your scalp. It is important to wash it frequently and brush it daily. Number 2. Brushing your teeth. We have to brush our teeth in the morning when we wake up after every meal and before going to bed. This way we will avoid many dental problems like cavities brushed from the gums to the teeth in a circular way without exerting too much pressure to avoid damaging the tooth enamel. Number 3. Clean Hands It is important to wash your hands with soap after touching animals, going to the bathroom, or coughing as well as before eating. Sing a song to make sure you wash them long enough and keep them clean with hand sanitizer when you are near a sink to wash them. Number 4. Cutting your nails. Cut your finger and toenails. Bacteria and viruses accumulate under our nails and may cause an infection. Number 5. Shower. This is the most important daily hygiene habit. The skin is exposed to pollutants from the environment that cause us to sweat as well as oil form our skin. When you shower, you remove toxin and dirt residue from your skin, allowing pores to breathe better. This habit helps prevent illnesses and help you relax after sports or a day of games and studies. Martha's Tips How to Wash Your Hands Frequent hand washing is the best way to avoid getting sick. You have to make sure you always keep them clean. Bacteria, viruses, and other microbes surrounded us daily and live in the same environment as us. When someone touches an object, other surfaces, or people, microbes can spread to their hands, and when you touch your eyes, nose, or mouth, they have the opportunity to enter the body and affect us with the disease. Washing your hands allow you to get rid of germs, thereby reducing your risk of getting sick. Wash for at least 30 seconds. 
Number one, wet hands and put on soap. Number two, rub your palms together. Number three, wash the back of your hand. Number four, wash between your fingers. Number five, and don't forget your thumb. Number six, clean your nails. Number seven, wash up to and including your wrist. Eight, rinse off the soap. And number nine, dry off. And the end. And from the stay clean. And the back of it says, Martha returns from camp and hasn't remembered a single day of showering. Dad and Mom will remind her and her brother the five mentory daily grooming habits. And she will discover how great it feels to be clean and healthy. This book is called Taking Care of Yourself, Sports, Healthy Diet, First Aid, and More, Keep Safe. And here's what it looks like. Here's the front. Here's the side. And here's the back. And I'll bring it up closer so you can see it. So far, I am enjoying these books that is made by Vision Street Publishing. Martha played tennis on Tuesday and Thursday with her best friend Emily. She plays very well. Martha is a very good tennis player and follows the ball like no one else. She always put on sunblock to protect her skin from the sun. That's a good idea so you won't get sunburned. So, good job. On Tuesday, Daniel plays soccer with the school team. He always practices very hard. Today, Daniel's team has a match against a neighboring school. Let's go team, yeah. and let's win this game, encourages Eric, the coach. Peter has fallen and hurt his knee. Oh, I'm sorry, uh, Peter. Don't worry, Peter. I know what we have to do, she said. Martha remained very calm. Martha bandages Peter's knee and the game continues. That's very sweet of you, Martha, for doing that for, for him. I really do love this family. This family is so nice and kind to others. You don't see that very often, especially in books. Upon arriving home, Martha and Daniel greet their little brother Carlos in the living room. I am very tired. I have played the whole game and scored three goals. Daniel is playing as he stretches out on the sofa. I am also very tired. Emily and I had a good tennis match. I like playing tennis more every day, Martha says while yawning.
After picking up their sport bags, Martha and Daniel head to take showers, but they both are out of energy. I'm very hungry, said Martha. I am very tired, Daniel confesses. I know how they feel. I'm, real, I'm a little bit tired myself. As they eat dinner, the children start to feel better. They have showered, and as they eat, they begin to recover their strength. It is important to eat properly. We have to take care of our bodies. When you play sports, you have to eat food that give you energy back so that you can continue to drink as well as continue all your daily activities, Dad explained to the children. Yes, and keep scoring many goals, exclaimed Daniel. I really would say give this dad a award. He is so good at giving you advice. Antonio Tips How to Treat a Wound the first thing you have to do is look to make sure there are no foreign objects, dirt or gravel in the wound and wash your hands with soap and water truthfully. With disaffected hands, follow these steps. Number 1. Clean the area with hydrogen peroxide. If there is still dirt in the wound, rewash the area with a damp cloth. Number 2. When the wound area is cleaned, pat it dry with a cotton ball. Number three, once all the moisture has been removed, apply antibacterial cream. Number four, cover the wound with a bandage. Repeat step one to four each day until the wound is healed. Light shadow wounds tend to heal quickly and are rarely infected. You may need to change the bandages a few times. If the wound is deep, wash it with hydrogen peroxide and try to stop the bleeding by pressing on it with sterile gauze. If the bleeding doesn't stop, then you should go to the nearest urgent care center or, or go to the doctor. Isabel's Tips Neutral Requirements Active children burn more calories and their neutral requirements are higher. Calcium is presented in dairy products and green leafy vegetables such as spinach or cheese, which also provide many other vitamins. Calcium helps strengthen bones. Iron helps transport oxygen from the lungs to all parts of the body, including the muscles. It is recommended to eat between 2 and 4 hours before playing sports. On a full stomach, the body will use much of the energy for digestion, leaving less for physical activities. A diet low in iron will produce fatigue and general weaknesses. It is important to include iron-rich food in the diet of all children, preferably those that are easily absorbed, such as red meat. Iron and magnesium are also found in vegetables, green leafy vegetables, legumes, and nuts. This iron, however, is more difficult for the body to process. Since it needs to be transformed for its absorption, a process that is helped by vitamin C. To help the body regain energy and trace elements lost after physical effort, a good dose of vitamin C and a good handful of nuts are ideal. Do not miss protein, vitamin C, calcium, healthy fats, iron, folic acid, cereal and vegetables, and water.
and uh, in for taking care of yourself. And the back of this one says, Martha and Daniel are two athletes. Daniel trained with his team at school, and Martha played tennis with her best friend Emily. A good diet will help them to restore energy. I hope that y'all enjoy this three books of Am I Sick, Stay Clean, and Taking Care of Yourself by Vision Street Publishing. And I wanted to thank y'all, Vision Street Publishing, for allowing me to upload these books just for only for entertainment, enjoyment, and for fun only. And I had a great time of reading these stories. I want to give y'all a thumbs up for accepting my permission. And I wanted to thank you so very much. I love y'all. God bless y'all. And, and if y'all find this so enjoyable, if this help you, uh, please give this a thumbs up. Comment down below what y'all think. Press the subscribe button. Share with your beautiful friends that you have in your life. And these books, once again, I bought these three books at Dollar Tree. They weren't that bad for a dollar twenty-five a piece. And I had to get it because I wanted because I thought it was a really good thing to learn. What all of these that you have to do in everyday life. So I'm happy that Vision made these books. And I'm glad they allowed me to do it. So I really appreciate it so very much. And I thank you. Credit goes out to Vision Street Publishing. Y'all are top tier of on my good side. And I really thank you very, very much. And if y'all find these books really enjoyable, and that's pretty much all I can give for this. So I'll probably give all of this a 10 out of 10. And I love the family. I think this, fa this family and three of these books were so supported. I love the dad. I think he should deserve a award for giving the best advice. And I think that all these family right here, they... They care about one another and helping others if they get hurt or or mate can tell them that they need to get a shower and stuff like that. I give this family a thumbs up for being the best family ever. Same thing with Vision Street Publishing. I give them a thumbs up. And I'll be looking out for more in the future. Because these are the great books that y'all made. Okay. That is it. I love y'all. Bye.